Wagwan Brethrens. It's me, Jack. I said last video I wasn't going to do that. Now, earlier this week, I asked you guys to head over to my Patreon and my Twitter and to suggest some topics that I can talk about in a big bumper edition of a Jackmate video. This is that video. <laughs> Welcome. I got 184 suggestions for different topics that I could give my thoughts about. So from them 184 different topics, I picked 25 at random. And today, I'm going to give you my opinions on stuff. This video is actually sponsored by Opinion Outpost. A little fact for you, Opinion Outpost are the first brand I ever worked with on YouTube way back in the day. In collaboration with me about to give you my opinion on 25 random things, Opinion Outpost wants to hear your opinion on random things too. If you're over the age of 18, you can click the top link in the description. It'll take you to their website. You can fill out surveys for cash money. So after this video, click the top link in the description. It'll take you right there. Imagine that, getting paid money for giving your opinions online. <laughs> You should try it sometime, YouTube. So without further ado, here is Jack Makes Opinions on 25 random things as submitted by you, the idiot, the, the people, the people. As I've said before, I don't understand why adult men would put real money into it to get virtual Ronaldo in a blue. It's a blue, I've got a blue one. It was, yeah, it's, it's just pixels on a screen. Mine Ronaldo's 96 though. I, t I mean, Good. My Ronaldo's got a five star weak foot. Again, that's bloody cool. Well done on that. But that's alright. I don't mind it. I met this girl and I blindfolded her and I took her to the airport and we got a surprise flight to Venice. We went down a gondola, there's a little fella on the end of the boat singing, it was very, very romantic. And we went back to the hotel room, bed full of rose petals. Woohoo! Thank you very much. I'm your daddy. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your daddy. Don't tell your real daddy I said that. And then I woke up and remembered that that's all bullshit and the reality is actually the complete opposite. A girl came back to mine after clubbing, threw up all over my kitchen floor. Whole baked beans came out of her mouth. I don't know, I don't know the science behind that. Who's eating baked beans whole? Chew them. Chew them please. Oh god. She brushed her teeth, went upstairs, one thing led to another and then we were together for a year after that, so it couldn't have been that bad. I still can't eat baked beans. <laughs> oh, easy. I think Theresa May and her whole entire party are a bunch of fucking nuts. Next. I've got a PS4, I play Call of Duty, the old one, the remastered one, and sometimes I might play a bit of FIFA. But I don't get no enjoyment from online gaming, because the last time I beat a guy on FIFA, a random guy, a kid, I later found out, the last time I beat a kid on FIFA, he turned on his microphone and told me to suck my mum. Oh, nice to meet you. I mean, I'm not going to, but out of curiosity, what part of my mum do you want me to suck? I assume he means tit and I have done that so that's hardly an insult but why is he telling me to suck my mum after I win a game of FIFA surely that would be some kind of sick forfeit do you know what I mean that's not a prize for anyone surely and I'm from Norwich I don't like to discuss other youtubers on this channel I tend to stay out of it to be honest what do you mean, give my opinion on pets? Yes, yes, they should, pets should be a thing. My first ever pets were two hamsters, actually. The first one was called Paolo, named after Paolo Di Canio, the Italian striker who played for West Ham, who I love dearly. And the second one was called Lenny, <laughs> because of Lenny from The Simpsons. I wish that was a joke. I don't understand the majority of guys that go clubbing. Ah, oh, fucking peach coloured v-neck, two sizes too small, to insensuate the bicep. Fresh from ASOS, next day delivery, done no. They strut about on the dance floor thinking they're the big I am, despite carrying three lemon VKs with the same hand. Three bottles in one hand like that, they've got the VK claw, you've seen the VK claw. Oh. Just going up to random girls on the dance floor, just thrusting behind them. What kind of introduction is that? I've never understood that. Even in my most desperate teenage years, when my hormones were through the roof, I never thought that would be a good idea. Mainly because I look like this, but still. Just a guy going up with a semi-erect cock through a chino, just rubbing against a girl's ass. Like, you like this? Do you want this? Excuse me. I like the smell of it, but I can't do it. Last time I did it was about four or five years ago, and I swear to God, it seemed like my reactions were 20 minutes behind everybody else's in the room. It was fucked. I think it's a shame that religious people think that paradise is in the afterlife. Oh, very touchy subject, this. If you believe that women should earn just as much as men, I agree with you. If you believe that objectifying women is wrong, I agree with you. If you believe that women are completely equal to men, guess what? I fucking agree with you. But, having said all that, if I hold the door open for a woman, just to be polite, and she starts kicking off and saying it's because I think that she can't hold that door open herself, then you can fuck off back to Tumblr. 
It's mental to think that we're the only living species in the entire universe. That out of every planet in the solar system, we are the most intelligent beings. We can't be the most intelligent beings because Kim Kardashian is part of us. It's the best place on the internet, I reckon. Because everybody's equal on there. Everybody just chats shit. And I definitely get my fair share in. Let me tell you, do I chat shit? Follow me, at Jack. Although, I'm still not verified. So, is it really me? Is there any point? If a fat person wants to be a fat person, be a fat person. I don't, I don't care. It's just, oh, it's not healthy. It's not healthy. I don't find fat women attractive in the same way, in the exact same way that women, all women, don't find me attractive. It's no one's fault. It's just the way we're wired. And I also don't think if you're fat and you have fat kids, you should be taking them to McDonald's every day. But that's fucking obvious, isn't it? A mum straight into McDonald's and buy fucking four boxes of 20 chicken nuggets. Give them a salad. They'll appreciate it in the long run. Mainly due to the person they have running the country, I think they're one of the most backward-thinking, selfish, pathetic countries in the world. Mainly due to the person we have running the country, I think we are the most pathetically backward-thinking, pathetically I find it weird that you stop playing out. That one day, you as a kid and all your kid mates went home and never played out again, and nobody was aware that that was the last time you would ever play out together. When's that moment, do you know what I mean, that you actually finally realise that your childhood's gone? Do you ever realise that? I guess you realise it when you're in a Weatherspoon toilets on a Friday night, smashing a half gram of coke, trying to finger a girl named Beth. Always a girl, always called Beth. I don't understand why Russia hates gays so much. I don't think I'll ever understand that. Out of all the different groups of people that you can pick on, you pick on the gays. What? I've never met a cunty gay, ever. Come on, Russia. I mean, if you have to pick on a select group of people, pick on the vegetarians, for fuck's sake. I'm joking. I'm joking. Pick on the vegans. Now, a lot of people like to think that the afterlife offers something. Whereas I actually like to take a bit of solace in the fact that I will probably rot in the ground. Because hopefully by the time I die, I'm going to be an old man and I'm going to leave behind probably a couple of grandkids. Maybe a granddaughter, do you know what I mean? And no granddad likes the thought of his granddaughter having sex or getting a boyfriend. So I'm going to be very bitter when I die, leaving her behind. Don't let any boy touch you. And I don't want to turn into a ghost, do you know what I mean? Because I don't want to run the risk of, oh, look what I've just fucking seen. I knew I shouldn't have checked on her. Look what she's up to. Oh, get out of her. If I was buried in the ground, it wouldn't take very long for me to decompose, right? And then I would go back into the earth, wouldn't I? And from that earth, a tree would grow and hopefully it would sprout some berries. Those berries will obviously get eaten by a bird. Now, I know it's very fucking unlikely, but I just hope again against all hope that that bird happens to fly over the car of the boy that's sleeping with my granddaughter and just shit all over his window. That's my opinion on the afterlife. I, I, I'm dead, but I hope I turn into bird shit. Come on, I mean I wear a fucking beanie hat in a shed in 25 degree heat. Don't ask me about fashion. Next. When I actually thought of this video a few days ago, I had a whole bit about ISIS that I wanted to talk about. Opinions that I do still hold and I do still want to express, but I don't think with the tragic events that happened in Manchester on Monday night, I can, I, 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 I'm in any position to do that at the moment. I will just take this moment to send my thoughts out to anyone that lost their lives or was affected in the tragic events in Manchester on Monday. Rest in peace to the 22 people that lost their lives. I don't think it's for me to say, really, is it? That's that's one I'll probably leave to you. What I want you to do, guys, is comment down below and give me your opinion on this series. I really enjoyed doing it, but I want to know if you guys enjoyed it too. So do take a moment to leave a comment down below. And remember, guys, if you want to make a little bit of extra cash, click the link down below. You have to be over 18. You just fill in some surveys and some dollar. I've been Jack, mate. You've been you. I'll see you in the next one. Got to go clean up some beans. <laughs>